Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing a build guide on the uh, on the new race frame, the Halo RC Nimrod and the Halo RC Nemesis V2. Um, both these frames use the same arm layout and connection. So the the arms come in and split and direct the impact forces around the body of the frame. Um, both the Nemesis and the Nimrod use the same arm, arm connection method and the same bolt pattern so they're interchangeable. The Nimrod as standard comes with these 5mm arms and they're nice and skinny and designed for uh, running a 4-in-1 ESCs with race wire or the, or the wires on the arms like that um, and then the Nemesis comes with these 4mm thick wide arms that are for um, running separate ESCs on the arms there um, but as I say both arms work on both frames so you can have uh, Truex Nemesis arms on a Nimrod or you can have Stretch X Nimrod arms on a Nemesis um, this makes the frame really uh, versatile and uh, you can build it exactly how you want it um, with the option of having a carbon front end or a TPU front end means that all the different micro cameras can work across the two frames um, and you if, a, if any new cam when a new camera comes out this TPU one can easily be updated um, so it's kind of future proof right so I'm going to be putting together a, you can see here I've got the Truex Nemesis, a Truex Nimrod and a Stretch X Nimrod. Um, so I'm going to put together a Stretch X Nemesis today. Um, so in the kit obviously you're going to get four arms, a top plate, a bottom plate that is countersunk and a middle plate which comes with the press nuts pre-fitted now rather than having to struggle and do them yourself uh, I've bought a machine now that I can just press them into place nice and straight and uh, been able to make, th make them a bit tighter as well so they don't turn when you're doing them up um, gone for eight press nuts instead of four on the revision simply because uh, s s bolting down steel into steel is just way better than trying to bolt these into directly into an aluminium standoff the standoffs usually uh, round off over time whereas this way you can tighten them up really hard and uh, never round them off so to start with you're going to take your countersunk bottom plate and your press press nut fitted middle plate line the holes up like so You'll get some longer bolts and some shorter bolts, all countersunk, so that you can choose what's, uh, what's, what height you need in the, in the stack, depending on what you're going to be running. Um, or if you're going to be running 20 by 20, then obviously just put the, the shorter ones on the inside. Uh, I'm going to be building this one with the longer ones on the inside. So you start with the inside bolts, just get them started. Just a little bit of thread sticking through. Put all four of those uh, center ones in with just a couple of millimeters of thread sticking out past the uh, press knot on the other side. Uh, this just holds these two plates together and makes fitting the arms a lot easier. So as you can see the arms have only got one actual hole um, and then this slot here and the slot just goes into that inside bolt and then uh, your second bolt goes through that outside hole there. Um, means that when you come to replace an arm all you have to do is remove this bolt and loosen the one that's in the stack so it shouldn't affect your stack too much and then you can just pop this out and stick another one in um, this little knobbly bit there you always want those pointing to the inside of the frame so go ahead and put that in there just push it in it's, it's going to be loose because it's, it's just slotting in there then you can push 
these two plates together, like so. Line the hole up and stick one of these shorter bolts in there. Now the tolerances are quite tight and I've got little fingers so I find it easier to just uh, use a driver. Make sure that it's the bolt is lined up with the press nut on the other side and that it is bolting into it and just get the thread started like the inside one for now and just stick the one next to it in get the other bolt started like so and again just double check that they're lined up nicely as you can see the bolt's just coming through the press nut nice and cleanly like so ideally you want these to be nice and flat so just push that all together don't use the bolts for now just want to keep it a little bit loose and then just do exactly the same on the other side you can even just do one arm at a time is the easiest way to do it and the final arm here just slots in like that and the last bolt is the main one that you sometimes have a little bit of trouble with because the tolerances are tight these arms are all going to be pushing this last one out slightly which is why you don't tighten down all the bolts to start with because it gives you a little bit of play just to get that one to go through the press nut rather than pushing the press nut out so now that you've got those all in place and they're all nicely lined up you just go ahead and much like you uh, would with a car you start on the inside here and you just do do one at a time not all the way down just to uh, bring them all down together without doing the final tightening up of them. This just ensures that the plates all come down at the same time and it doesn't get all twisted and uh, you run into problems sometimes because the tolerant, as I say, the tolerances are, are tight, so. So now you can go ahead and start tightening these down a bit more. Just working the way around the frame, one bolt at a time, obviously, because you can't tighten two bolts at once. As it tightens up, these will get a little bit stiffer, but that's what you want because it means it's working and they're all pushing into each other. And this is just going to pull all those three plates together so there's no gap and creating the main chassis structure of the frame and as I said the Nimrod is exactly the same up to this stage it's, it's, it's exactly the same you're just using the bottom countersunk plate and the press nut fitted middle plate your four arms of choice and you're just going to go through that same um, procedure to fit the arms so now they're all nice and tight and the arms are all nice and butting up against each other and that is the main yeah, as I say that's the main structure of the of, of the nemesis all you have to do is put your standoffs in place on these outside bolts like so 
it's so much better not having to bolt into this into these standoffs they're just not made for that really this is exactly how frames should be made if you ask me now you just fit the TPU camera mount over the top of the front standoffs and over the press nuts at the bottom and as you can see it should be nice and flush with the uh, the middle plate there goes right down to the bottom like so and then you just simply uh, fit the top plate the right way around with the four remaining button screws another nice little thing about this frame is that you only need one driver so make sure you buy a nice one because you don't want to be rounding off the steel bolts by using a, a cheap and cheap and nasty driver it's always good to have good tools it's worth it worth investing in a decent quality driver this one's pretty nice can't get very much uh, leverage on it which is good and bad really it's not so good for removing stubborn bolts but it's good for not over tightening them in the first place and there you have it there's the uh, there's the Nimrod complete with top plate the only thing that's missing is the VTX mount that goes on the rear standoffs and uses the top plate to hold it in place um, that's sold separately to the frame because there's uh, uh, there's a half a dozen different ones that you can get so can't include that in the fr all of them in the frame and obviously new ones will be coming out as new antennas come out so uh, you just pick up a Make sure you pick up a VTX mount, or if you've got a 3D printer, then you haven't got to worry because you can just print your own using the free downloadable files. So when you're at this stage uh, with the Nimrod, you'll see here that you've got these uh, little spiky bits sticking out and the slots in the bottom plate there. That's to secure the carbon fiber camera mount here. Um, so it's just two bits of carbon with a standoff holding them together. Um, I've used a slot, big slot there and TPU so that you can use these three holes to adjust how close the lens is to the carbon fiber um, depending on what camera you use. Um, the, the, diff, the distance from the hole to the end of the lens can change quite a bit between cameras and different lenses that you use so this little bit of adjustability just uh, makes it a bit easier to build and just so you can get it perfect so you just go ahead and slot that in there like so and slot the top plate onto there and secure it down with the four button bolts that will just push down into the holding the that will just push down and hold the camera plates in place so there's no play or anything so I'll just go over the way the VTX mounts work quickly um, there's, there's various mounts available for different antennas so whether you're running a dipole or an Luminaire Axi or a VAS Minion. Um, I've got SMA, Axi Micro, Foxia Lollipop. Any any VTX antenna that comes out, I'm going to be able to make a little mount for like this that goes over the rear standoffs like so, and the top plate actually slots. There's a little slot underneath here and the top plate slots inside there like so so now these bolts are in you can see that the uh, antenna is nice and secure on there it's quite unlikely that's going to come out and flop around and it just feeds the UFL in nicely so you can 
put it onto your VTX inside. Um, so yeah, same thing with with dipole or an axi. You just put it over the rear standoffs and slot the top plate in place. Then once you bolt these down, um, it's going to hold the antenna in the perfect position. Um, yeah, so when you order a frame, just make sure you you know what uh, antenna mount you want uh, or what antenna you're going to run and pick up the right mount. So yeah, they're, they're the new frames. Hope you like them and enjoy building them and I look forward to seeing you guys uh, flying them soon. See you in the next one. Cheers! Come and put your name on it.